explorar, no hay nadie conectado de mis alumnos. Escribiendo en el chat estaba ahorita porque nunca había pasado eso. Ah, bien raro. Eh, pues ya me voy a unir yo también al grupo del WhatsApp para escribirles también, porque no sé. Vaya, está bien. Ok. Good evening, Nelson. Hi, Nelson, how are you? Can you hear me, Nelson? Hi, Manuel, how are you? Join mute, Manuel. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Fine. Good evening. Why is nobody else? Why why are you late, Manuel? To my class? I, don't, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> little little you, guys, little. you guys you don't like my class, right? <laughs> hey, no sean así, bicho, dear. <laughs> Qué bárbaro. No, hombre. I'm here. Okay, guys. <laughs> sí, cabrón. <laughs> Hi Nelson, how are you? Nelson puede oírnos. Hello, good evening Nelson, how are you? Very good. <laughs> nice, nice to hear it. Okay. Okay, so we have, we're gonna give a few more minutes. Hi Olga, how are you? What happened to you yesterday, Olga? I didn't see you. I was very silent and, and when I arrived to my house, I go to bed. <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> I went to bed. Oh, well, yeah, if you are tired, there's nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. But are you feeling better now? Yes. Okay. I'm feeling better right now. Good. Recharged. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, so, teacher. Yeah, I always notice when you're not there. So, yeah, thank you for being here. Okay, guys. So, remember, we always begin the class with some random conversation questions, right? So, here's the first question to you. Okay, if then this is a conditional question, okay, we're going to talk in a conditional tense. We're going to check this scenario, check this scenario out. I'm going to put it in the chat. If your house caught fire, if your house caught fire, what three things would you say before running outside? What three things would you say? Mm -hmm. In my case, I think if my house caught fire, first I would take, it's not a thing, it's my pet. I have a pet rabbit, so he would be the first thing I would grab, my pet rabbit. And then probably some of my perfumes because they are very, very expensive <laughs> and I'm not going to leave them there. <laughs> and third, my wallet because they are my documents, <laughs> the priorities. <laughs> What about you guys? What things would you get? What things, what three things would you save if your house caught fire? Before running outside, what would you save? 
Okay, teacher, in my case, <clears throat> the first uh, thing, it, it could be my dog, my little dog. All right, very important. <laughs> and the second one, my motorcycle, because uh, I, uh, what do you say? Um, I, podría, puedo decir yo, yo guardo o yo estaciono mi motocicleta inside uh -huh. of my house. Yeah, I park it inside the house. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. I park in the, my motorcycle in, inside the house. And the uh, three, I, I agree with you, with your three, <laughs> uh, with your three priority, uh, my wallet. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> the money is important. Also the documents. More than the money, because I never have money in my wallet. <laughs> but mm -hmm. the documents are really the documents and the debit cards, those are really important. Thank you for sharing, Manuel. Let me hear the other ones. What would you say? What three things you would say before running outside if your house caught fire? Okay. Manuel just mentioned he would save his dog first his motorcycle second, and his wallet third, okay? Let me hear you guys. ¿Qué tres cosas salvarían ustedes si su casa se incendiara? ¿Qué cosas salvarían antes de salir corriendo? Solo pueden ser tres. What three things would you say? Let me hear. Nelson, what three things would you say? ¿Qué tres cosas salvarían usted, Nelson? Está en mute, Nelson, no lo oímos. Sorry. Ahora sí. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, do you repeat? You know? Yeah. What three things would you say if, you if your house got fire? Manuel said he would save his dog, he would save his motorcycle, and he would save his wallet. And you? What three things would you save if your house was on fire? Okay. Uh, I go to the, the Yulu. I would save, yo salvaría. Yes. Tiene que mencionar uh, tres cosas que salvaría. Entonces inicia con esta frase. I would save, y dice una cosa u objeto. Ah, okay. I will take is a uh, go to you. Okay. What is the first thing? ¿Qué tres cosas salvaría, Nelson? La primera, la primera no la escuchamos. ¿Qué fue lo que dijo? Eh. I will, I will, mm -hmm. I will to do the igloo. Okay. And the second thing, la segunda cosa. Uh, I will. I would say. I will take a item. Mm, food, comida, food. Yes. Okay, food. I go to eat them uh, uh, the class. <laughs> <laughs> the class cannot be saved, Nelson. <laughs> but your laptop, you could save your laptop or your cell phone. There, you could save that. Um, Thank you. Wendy, what would, you save? what would you save, Wendy, if your house was on fire? In my game, uh, my Bible, my I go save my Bible, my cell phone, and my dog. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> See, everybody has different priorities. Good, good job, Wendy. Um, let me hear you, Tatiana. What three things would you save if your house caught fire? Join mute, Tatiana. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. No worries. 
Uh, I will say, first of all, I think um, my family okay. mm -hmm. are at home. Uh, my family is my mom, my son, and my pet. Uh, after that, I think, I don't, I, I just can't think only in, in day because I think the fire is not going to give me more time. I have well, to run. Yeah, true. Yeah. The fire never gives you time. That's right. <laughs> yes, so, the <laughs> yeah, for me, because once I, I get, I don't know how do you say, in, I have an accident. I had an accident. Uh -huh. I so, yeah, I I think I I going to I I can think about in another thing. Just yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, you know, guys. Now that Tatiana mentions that every like every person has different priorities, right? One time when I was, it was two years ago. I remember my father had an hernia um, on his abdomen, so he couldn't carry the bottle of crystal water he couldn't carry it so i helped him to carry it and my sister was in the car when i picked the bottle up the car i tripped and i fell on the floor and i broke my hand but my sister she was there and she saw when i fell and she didn't help me she went to pick up the bottle of water <laughs> that i threw when i fell so every person has different priorities and it shows at the moment of the emergency right it, Maybe you don't think about that, but when you're in the emergency, as Tatiana said, it depends how much time you have, right? How much time it gives you. Good answer, Tatiana. Okay, let's see. And, and teacher, when mm -hmm. that happened, I could I haven't enough time. So you see? So now you know by experience that you didn't have enough time, right? <laughs> you're not something you read or somebody told you, you lived it, right? You experienced it. Thank you for sharing, Tatiana. Okay, let's hear um, Silvia. We are answering the question. If your house was on fire, what three things would you save before you leave the house? Silvia Suleima? Hi, Silvia. Um, in my case, uh, this is uh, oh, we're having interference, Silvia. We se escucha cortado. No se dice, ya me pasó. <laughs> It happened to me. Um, Ahora sí ya se escucha. It happened to me already. Uh -huh. Sí, um, ahora sí, Silvia. It happened to me already. Okay. Ya me pasó. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. It happened to me already. And I, I won't say look, I, I won't save or pay Lo único que quería salvar era un par de calcetines. Okay. Cuando all, se quemó all, I wa all I wanted to say were some socks. Así. Were some socks. Oh, yes. save. Okay. Save. Mm -hmm. Very good. So every, everyone has different all reactions, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Were some socks. Mm -hmm. Very good. So it turns about reaction, right? Thank you for sharing, Silvia. Okay. I don't know why I keep on putting myself in mute. Okay, so now guys, last night we were discussing some of the tag questions, right? Remember we use them in conversation when we want confirmation from someone or when we want someone to agree with what we are saying, right? In those scenarios, we use tag questions. So here's what we're going to do right now, okay? As a form of review, you're going to go into the breakout rooms and you're going to create a conversation. In this conversation, I want you to discuss any topic that you want. It can be a conversation about anything. 
but the only requirement is that you include at least two or three tag questions in the conversation, okay? And that the other person obviously answers or confirms or agrees with you, okay? So again, we're gonna go into the breakout rooms. You're gonna have 10 minutes and you will have to create a conversation. It's a free topic. The only requirement is that you use tag questions two or three times minimum using tag questions, incorporating them in the conversation, okay? The rooms are open right now. You can enter the rooms. Si queda en la sala con alguien que no está conectado o que está viente, déjeme saber para reasignarlo, ¿de acuerdo? Tenemos 10 minutos a partir de ese momento. Teacher, I don't, in my house, Okay. <laughs> okay, entonces ni modo, María, no se preocupe. Um, Norma, eh, ay, ingreso. Anna, what happened? I I have a problem with the microphone. Uh, oh. uh, can you <laughs> regresarme a la sala? Please? Yes. ¿En qué sala estaba Anna? Two. Espera, uh, quiero ver. La voy a mover ahorita a la uno, pero no lo acepté todavía. Anna. Ya le voy a decir. Ahora sí. Oh. My teacher, I, I don't understand the homework. Um, ¿Vieron el mensaje que les puse? No. Muy rápido, <laughs> Ahorita se los puse. Eh, tienen que hacer una conversación. Es tema libre, puede ser cualquier cosa. Pero el único requisito es que incorporen por lo menos dos o tres tag questions. Cualquiera de las que vimos ayer pueden incorporarlas en la conversación. ¿Ok? Es tema libre, solo el requisito es que las incorporen al menos dos o tres veces en la conversación. De acuerdo. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Si necesitan ayuda, me dejan saber. María Concepción, ¿quiere que le agregue alguna sala o no? ¿O solo está doliente? Teacher, vengo llegando a la casa y no sé de qué se trata lo que están haciendo ahorita. Vaya, entonces en la siguiente actividad, María. Vaya, gracias.
Okay, we're all back. So, did you complete the task? Did you complete the conversations? Or do you need a few more minutes, guys? I need more, more okay. minutes. I need more minutes. All right, I'm going to give you five minutes. Pueden regresar a la sala ahorita. Justo ahora ya están abiertas la sala para que regresen. You have five minutes. Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> what happened when did yes? <laughs> I'm still driving. <laughs> to How, home. Were you working with Anna when? With who? Were you working with no. Anna? No. Anna Raquel. No. Uh -huh. No. Es que me no. parecía que usted estaba, que había ingresado. O sea, que Ana no ha estado trabajando. Maravilloso. Yes, no, no. Not, ok. Bueno, not. a lo mejor hizo algo ya sola. We will see soon. I don't know, but she don't, she didn't talk to me. Talk to me. All right. Anyways, um, when, when you get to your house, let us know and you can participate in the class, okay? Drive safe. <laughs> okay, maybe in, in 20 minutes, in 20 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> Drive safe then, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Okay.
Okay, now that we're all back, let's begin with room number one. Um, let me just check. That would be Olga Marleni and Silvia Zuley. Les escuchamos. Okay. Silvia, okay. are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Silvia, let's go for dinner the next Saturday, shall we? Yes, Los Planes is a good place for di dinner or weekend, isn't it? If you want, we can invite a teacher, won't you? Okay, we will have to ask her. Okay, that's all, oh, teacher. teacher. Thank you, ladies. La última pregunta que ocuparon, um, repitanla, Olga, por favor. If you want, we can invite the teacher. Want you? Uh -huh. And in vez de want, porque el want solo se puede si la primera oración llevaba will. Mm. Uh -huh. Pero ahí podría ponerle el negativo. Can't we? Uh -huh. We can, can we? invite her. Can't we? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly. Other than that, it was perfect, ladies. It was very spontaneous. Thank you. It was very good. Um, Ana Raquel, did you work by yourself? A teacher uh, Juan de Dios is uh, is uh, driving. Okay. Uh, I, I I do the conversation uh, waiting for he. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry then. Mm -hmm. When he when he comes to the when he gets to his house, he's gonna incorporate. So don't worry, Anna. Thank you. Um, let's hear Diana, Tatiana, and Wendy Maribel. Okay, teacher. Hello, Wendy. Uh, did you do your part of the homework? Didn't you? No, I didn't. I was too busy with a lot of work at my we need your part today. Remember, this is the last course. Are you going to do it, aren't you? Yes, I will do it after work. Will you wait for me? Good, 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 La segunda, la segunda oración. Repítanla, por favor. We need your part today. Uh, yes, we need your part today. Remember, this is the last course. Are you going to do it, aren't you? Okay. Ahí, la primera tiene que ser en afirmativo. You are going to do it, aren't you? Okay. Uh -huh. El tal question es el único que va a ser el question. La otra oración es una oración, tal cual. Okay. Y lo mismo sería con la última. Wendy, le da su oración, la última. Yes, I will do it after work. Will you wait for me? Good, good on you? Okay. Will you, you will wait for me, wouldn't you? Ajá, exacto. En vez de preguntar, en la primera es, you, you will. will. You will wait for me. You will wait for me. Y acuérdense que el tag para will you es will. want. No, es want. Negativo. Want. Negativo, want negativo de you. will, want. Uh -huh. You will mm. wait for me, won't you? Like that. Okay. Yes. So lo era como del orden, pero de ahí, it was really good, ladies. Thank you so much. <laughs> and it was a very, very spontaneous conversation. <laughs> so thank you for participating. We're going to go with room number five. We have Manuel, Nelson, and Norma Carolina, please. Good evening, Nelson, eh, Olga, Norma, sorry, Norma. Eh, good evening. I, I hear eh, that eh, that the famous eh, musical group are, are coming soon visit eh, to El Salvador. That's good. Who is the musical group to come in Salvador, Manuel? Yes, the, this group is uh, uh, Los Tigres del Norte. They uh, visit to El Salvador. Okay, they are, they are the best. 
Oh, perdón, sí, oh, sorry. Sí. Okay, they are the best the the group the best music. The question, Tom. Aren't they? I think there are other groups with better Mexican groups. Aren't there? Yes, that's correct. Uh, would you like to go to concert? Uh, I think you have enough money, don't you? <laughs> you answer is <this>. okay. <laughs> that's all. Yes, teacher. That's all right. Enough money. Yo para no que le contestara por one. Does she have money or not? <laughs> Does she have the money or not? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Very good. You used them correctly. No, so, the, questions. The question, <laughs> <laughs> so very Thank good you. job, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So moving forward, we're gonna go to the um what is it again? I forget the name. To the students manual. <laughs> we're going to check the students manual right now. Let me know when you're seeing the page, please. Okay, page 31. All right. So we have the first topic in here, right? How does, and then this one is going, we have two questions to discuss, okay? The first one, how does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? What is the role of a blog in media marketing, okay? Right now, we are only going to answer the first one, in your opinion, and I want you to write it down. I want you to write it down. I'm gonna give you five minutes and write down a small paragraph with the answer to this question. In your opinion, how does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or a service? Okay? So again, you have five minutes, write it down in your notebooks y luego me dan su opinión de lo que han escrito, right? Lo comparten, lo que han escrito. Ideally, you have to speak for more than a minute. Mínimo un minuto aceptable para contestar esta pregunta. Right. Um, una o dos oraciones está bien a nivel básico. De ahora en adelante tenemos que de cuatro a más oraciones cada vez que contestamos una de estas preguntas. Right. So in, you can use examples, you can use ideas. Right. So anything you want to incorporate in your answer. So you have five minutes to write it down, your opinion on this question. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jorge. How are you? Uh, fine, but but late in the class because <laughs> I, I, traffic. I, I just arrived to my home. Juan no, de is, is in the same. He's gonna arrive in twenty minutes. He said. I I, I go out of the of my work until eight. Oh, so yeah. You have just finished. So late, but just finished. All right, but thank you for doing the effort and connecting. We're answering this question right now, Jorge, the one on the student's manual. Question number one, how does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? We're writing it down we have five minutes to write it down and then we're going to share our opinions on this one. Page number 31 is. Yeah, page 31, the first question. How does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? So we have to write it down in a small okay. paragraph Bye. and then we share it. Okay, I will try to okay. answer the question. Perfect. If any of you guys needs help with vocabulary or 
verb tenses or anything, let me know. If any of you has already finished, let me know and you can share your opinions on this answer, okay? Los que ya terminaron, pueden levantar la mano y podemos iniciar con ustedes. If not, you still have two minutes. Thank you, Manuel. Let's begin with you, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, in my opinion, uh, social media marketing plays an important role to influence the different group of consumers. It depends on age of individual. For example, uh, the children have an uh, in internet advertising that is according they need in a funny way. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a good example, Manuel. Thank you. So that's one way in which it influences. It can influence by age, according to Manuel, right? According to the age, it can influence by groups, right? Yes. So, all right. Very good. Thanks for sharing, Manuel. Who else wants to share your answer on this question? Let's see, volunteers. Or if you're still writing, don't work. You still have to you still have two minutes, please. Alas is in Punta Yuno. Vamos a empezar. En lo que terminan de escribir sus respuestas a esa pregunta, voy a take attendance, voy a pasar la lista. So give me one moment, please, so I can um, load it. Let's begin with Ana Raquel Villalta. Present. Thank you. Then we have Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you, Claudia Maria Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Thank you, Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan de Dios Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda Ibe. Manuel Antonio. Manuel Antonio. María Concepción. Present. Thank you, María Elena. Mario Ernesto, no estar. Nelson Gabarreta. Present, Miss. Thank you, Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Silvia Suleiman. Present teacher. Thank you, Tatiana Michel. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy Maribel. Present. Thank you, and Chris Perez. Okay. 
Let me just go back to the screen. Okay, and now raise your hand if you have your answers ready, please. For this question, the one we were talking about. How does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? Let me hear your opinions, please. Teacher, me? Mm -hmm. Let me hear. Uh, I was thinking about the influencers because, it, well, in these days, when you when you see, a, for example, a, a influencer, they have a lot of or many followers. So when you see that person using, for example, a brand or using a shoes, and the people want to use that same pair of shoes so mm -hmm. i think that is that is very they have a uh uh i don't know if it, if it is correct but it, they have a uh big reach or they reach a lot of people they have a big reach yes mm -hmm. okay they have a big reach because they have a lot of influencers influencers and so just for using that t-shirt or 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 the hair or whatever, but they 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 convince the, the people and and that is very they they you they help to the brand to sell uh, that product. I think that is that is that, correct. Yes, and, and that is what we call social media marketing. As that that Tatiana gave one of the best examples, right? Um, there are many different platforms today and another many being created, right? Um, and yes, sometimes it can be the ugliest product, the worst product, but if you see it on someone that you like, you go and you buy it, right? Sometimes you yeah. don't even need it. <laughs> yeah. or, or maybe food because they offer food and, and mm -hmm. the food it maybe is ugly or... <laughs> exactly. But when they eat that food, the people want to do it. Or, exactly. or for example, TikTok, they have a big reach too, yeah. and and sometimes the the product or whatever they they offer, uh, we don't need. But because exactly. we follow we follow that person, uh, that uh, that is influencer. <laughs> yes, they influence. <laughs> Literally, yes, that's correct. Thank you, Tatiana, for sharing. Okay, let me hear the opinions from the others. Raise your hand, please, to participate. Let me hear. Wendy, please. Uh, in my opinion, depend the company and depend the customer. For example, in my work, the, the my, uh, customer don't use social media. Oh. <laughs> the person uh, are 60 years or 50 years or more years. My uh, my customers uh, are uh, 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> in, in my case, yes. So in your case, uh, social 80, media is 80, 80 or 90 years. So it doesn't, they the, don't the care customers. about the social media. <laughs> The customers, uh, uh, I, I call, I mm -hmm. call, or, 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 um, or for for WhatsApp. Okay, or you call only, or you text them. only WhatsApp, only call. Uh, go go to the the um, the company, okay, the travel agency, um other person for example uh their their child or their um grandson or grand granddaughter uh -huh. uh, use the use um the social media because they they know <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's interesting it's the first time i know that that a travel agency is mostly used by uh third yeah. age people yeah. interesting 
<laughs> that is where the business is with, <laughs> with all the people. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Ana Raquel, please. Okay. Uh, the social media marketing has a lot of influence on customers because it uses a lot of resources like images, colors, influencers, uh, promotions, uh, giveaway. Um, and the community manager investigates preference uh, to satisfy uh, people and find the specific product for the target market. Correct. That's a very detailed explanation, Anna. Thank you. And that is correct. Every, every advertisement that we see, every commercial that we see, it has been planned to be to reach you specifically, right? According to what you watch or what you want. Very good. Thank you for sharing your answers, guys. Okay, so the second question says, what is the role of a blog in media marketing? In your opinion, is there, do you think there is a space for blogs in media marketing? What do you think about blogs? Teacher, my question is, uh, who is or what is a blog? A blog, Manuel, is... Let me let me show you one. I'm gonna show you more than just tell you, <laughs> right? Bear with me. And I'm gonna share with you guys. Okay. The definition or? No, I'm gonna show you an actual blog. A blog basically is, there are pages, Manuel, where you can just go and write anything that comes to your head, right? You can write recipes, you can write ideas, and you can decorate and all of that. That is a blog. It's like a page on Facebook, but it's, these are on different platforms. These are on WordPress. They use different platforms. And what they do is that they write about a specific topics. They don't use videos usually. Usually blogs are specifically for um, visual content or reading, okay? And if you see this blog, for example, it's about food, right? You, all kinds of food, beverages. Okay. And if you want to find like a recipe to make these mommy dogs, right? Okay. You go there and see. It's they are, like a different, different page. Mm -hmm. But they in the blog, what they do is that they start talking. Look how okay. they start. Mm -hmm. They talk, okay. they give you steps, recipes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, teacher. Thank you. And but, the, the blog teacher mm -hmm. could, be, could be made for a person or a company or the blogs can be made by anyone. Anyone who wants to create an account in a platform that is for blogging can do this. They can start blogging, they can start talking about whatever they want. There are blogs. Uh, there are blogs about politics, blogs about food, about all the topics you can imagine. So, but there is one thing. Hay un punto con los blogs. If you notice, they are separate platforms. They are not specifically Facebook blogs. They are not Instagram blogs. So, do you think they are useful for media marketing? What do you think? A blog. You would. Mm -hmm. It's a short, I think it's a short, uh, just for a little items. Correct. You can, you can be more specific if you want to get some information in a blog. I mm -hmm. don't understand. Exactly. And also not everyone is going to go to a blog to read everything that they write because it's let's let me real we don't like to read these days <laughs> so you prefer to watch a video you prefer to watch an instagram reel or a commercial on tv and going to a blog to read something it's kind of boring but there are people that do it <laughs> so i think blogs wow. I, I don't know <laughs> i don't know so i think yes they have a small role, like very small role in media marketing. Because some people, they do read blogs. And if their favorite blogger says that they like to 
buying Dollar City, for example, people are always going to go and buy a Dollar City because the favorite blogger does the same. <laughs> so they have a specific group of people that they can reach. In fact, I don't remember if I read <laughs> some blogs. Teacher, I, yeah? I think that um, a few years ago, the blogs were, were very important, but with the social media, uh, specifically with Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok, the blogs were losing people because like you said, we don't like to read and you prefer to watch a video of a TikToker mm -hmm. uh, telling you about something that going to search and, and read about it. Exactly. We're lazy people. Let's face it. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. That is correct. I don't... Those apps I, kill the, the blogs. Yeah, those apps have been... They Ever since they started, they began killing the blogs because they are basically the same, the same idea from a blog without all the letters, without all the writing. So it's more images, content, videos, pictures not so much writing or reading. You don't have to do any reading in those platforms. So they are they have been killing blogs um, lately. I don't know if you guys have ever watched, there is, I think there is a blog. No, there is a movie, Julia. When I'm at Julia, there is a movie that is about a, a girl that she started preparing the dishes from Julia, a famous Julia and Julia. Book. Uh-huh, exactly. What's the name, Anna? Julie and Julia, the actress is... Uh, uh, Mary the Street. Exactly. Uh -huh, so that, exactly. Movie, <laughs> uh, that movie is one example of the days, the days when the blogs were popular, right? That movie is the best example of the days when the blogs were popular. And I think they were more popular in the United States and other countries, but not so much in Central America because we are violent people <laughs> we don't read that much so i think that's why in central america blogs were not really that big of a hit now we have a conversation in here so we're gonna take rounds remember we do three rounds for conversations so i'm gonna need two volunteers one person is gonna be manuel and the other one is gonna be rafael in the first round and the first round we have jorge you're gonna be manuel Tatiana, you will be Raphael, please. Okay. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can be can become an online marketer. But you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option me menu to get the information they need, Manuel. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Claudia, you will be Manuel in this round and Diana, you will be Rafael, please. Okay. Okay. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content constantly. Consistently. Then, then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everybody is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to nav navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. Very good, thank you. And for the last round, we have Wendy, you will be Manuel, and Anna, you will be Rafael, please. 
what do I need to do to become a great online marketer? marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great only marketer already. Just look at the post, post, post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. Very good. Thank you everyone who participated in the conversation. We're gonna answer the exercise then. Um, read the conversation and complete the sentences below. Okay, number one. This phrase is in the conversation. Anyone. Correct. Anyone can become an online marketer. Thank you. Number two. Everybody. Very good, that is correct. Everybody is going to love my content. Number three. Everyone. 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 Correct. Everyone is going to like your comments until they get to the options menu. And number four? No one. No, no one. one. Okay. So let's let's pay attention to these ones. Okay. When we talk about anyone, everybody, everyone, and no one, am I talking about someone in a specific? When I use any of those words, am I referring to a specific person? Yes or no? No, it's in general. Exactly, no. it's in general. So that's why we call them indefinite pronouns, okay? Words like anyone, everybody, everyone, or no one, they are known and they are called um, indefinite pronouns, all right? So let us take that as an introduction. And then I'm going to show you some info on the indefinite pronouns uses. Bear with me. Okay. So we are going to be doing some reading to check how to use them. All right. And we're going to be doing examples with them. So I need two volunteers to help me read the introduction part. One person will read this part and the other will read this. And then we begin with the each of the indefinite pronouns. Manuel, help me with the introduction part, please, of this. And then Juan de Dios, help me with this part, please. And then all the others, keep your hands raised because you will help me read the indefinite pronouns. Manuel, begin, please. Manuel. Sorry, teacher. An indefinite pronoun does not refer to any specific person, thing, or amount. It is back, uh, back in vague. Not vague and not definite. Some typical indefinite pronouns are all, another, any, anybody, anyone, anything, each, everybody, everyone, everything, few, many, nobody. None, one, several, some, somebody, someone. Note that many indefinite pronouns also function as other parts of speech. Look at another in the following sentence. He is one job in the day and another all night. Pronoun. I like another drink, please. Adjective. Okay, thank you. Uh, most in the most indefinite. indefinite pronouns are oh. either singular or plural. However, some of them can be singular on one context and plural in another. The most common indefinite 
pronouns are listed below with example a singular plural or singular plural notice that a singular pronoun takes a singular verb and that any personal pronoun should also agree in number in gender look at the samples each of the players has a doctor. I met two girls. One has given me her phone number. Similarly, plural pronouns need plural agreement. Many have expressed their views. Very good, thank you. So basically, there are, these are two important points about indefinite pronouns. Before we begin seeing how to use them, Indefinite pronouns can they can use different parts in the speech in a sentence. They can play different roles. Okay, and then the second point that we need to know is this: whenever you have an indefinite pronoun, if it's singular, for example, you know that the verb has to be applied in singular, and then also all the all the rest of the parts of the sentence have to match. Tienen que hacer juego. Con el, uh, con el indefinite pronoun, right? However, if we use an indefinite pronoun that is plural, then we can make the sentence in plural, right? And if there is a possessive adjective or possessive pronoun, it will be matching the pronoun, all right? I cannot use a singular pronoun with a plural, um, with a verb and expressing plural, for example. Yo no puedo decir, each of the players have no se puede. Each, ya lo vuelve tercera persona, tiene que ser has, right? Tenemos que fijarnos en esa parte para hacer el cambio correcto, okay? Y con lo mismo, no puedo decir many people has expressed. No, right? Many people have expressed. His views, mm -mm. como es plural, sería their views, right? So, todas las partes de la oración donde hay un indefinite pronoun, por lo general, van a ser match, van a ser juego, con ese indefinite pronoun, right? So right now we're gonna check them. We're gonna check them as singular and as plural. And we will talk about the ones that can do the two. Hay unos que son solo singulares, otros que son solo plurales. Pero hay indefinite pronouns que tienen las dos funciones. Nos pueden servir de las dos formas, okay? So let's begin. I need three volunteers right now. Each of you is going to read one of these. Claudia, help me with the first one, please. You're going to read the pronoun, the meaning, and the example. Tatiana, you will read number two, please. And I need one more person for number three. I'm gonna need one more reader for number three. Me teacher. Okay, Juan de Dios, please. Diana, help me with number four afterwards, which will be each, okay? Let's begin, Claudia. Pronoun, another. Meaning an additional or different person or thing. Example, that ice cream was good. Can I have another? Okay. Tatiana, please. Anybody, anyone. Meaning, no matter what person. Example, can anyone answer these questions? Thank you. Number three, please. Anything, no matter what thing. All the right. doctor needs to know if you have eaten anything in the last two hours. Okay, thank you. And number four, please. Each, every one of two or more people or things seen separately. Each has his own thoughts. Very good. Now, it is really important that we know what each pronoun means. Okay, another. Another means one additional, okay? An additional or different person or different thing, okay? And we have the example that um, Claudia was reading. That ice cream was good. Específicamente está hablando de ese helado. That ice cream was good. Y luego dice, can I have another? That means, can I have an extra? Can I have one more, right? That is another. And it will always be singular. El hecho de que empiece con la A ya nos está indicando que es singular. Another, one more, one extra, okay? 
And typically it's different. Por lo general es algo diferente, right? Then we have anybody or anyone. They are basically the same. De, y ambos quieren decir, no importa. No importa, cualquiera de ustedes de eso te preocupe, quiere decir, no importa quién. No importa quién. Ok, entonces el equivalente podría ser cualquiera. Ok, o para nosotros si estamos buscando una forma formal sería alguien. ¿Puede alguien contestar esta pregunta? Y este alguien puede ser, entre paréntesis, cualquiera. All right. Can anyone answer this question? O, can anybody answer this question? Eso lo puedo usar alternos es exactamente lo mismo. Puede ser alguien, y entre paréntesis refiriéndose a alguien cualquiera, alguien quien sea. Ok. Luego tenemos anything. No matter what thing. The doctor needs to know if you have eaten anything in the last two hours. Este sería el equivalente a cualquier cosa. Es parecido a something, solo que este es a una cosa en específico. El doctor necesita saber si usted ha comido algo, lo que sea, entre paréntesis. El doctor necesita saber si usted ha comido algo, lo que sea, en las últimas dos horas. All right? And then we have the last one, each. Each means every one. Cada uno. Ok. Cada uno de dos o de más. No importa si es plural y son muchísimos. Si dicen each one of you, cada uno de ustedes. Each one, cada uno. Right? O puede significar también cada quien. Cada uno o cada quien. Ok. So here's what you're going to do right now. You're going to write one sentence for each of the pronouns. So you're going to write four sentences right now. Okay? I'm going to give you five minutes so you can write the four sentences. They can be questions or sentences as you prefer. Just make sure that you have one for each of the pronouns that we just saw. And you have five minutes. Sorry, teacher, could you repeat, please? Yes, you have to create one sentence using each of the pronouns from the four that we just saw, so you will create four sentences. One okay, for each you. pronoun. Mm
If you have completed the four sentences, also let me know and we can begin with you. Otherwise, you have three more minutes. Jorge, let me hear it, please. Uh, we need another person to do that job. Mm -hmm. That's correct. It is correct, yes. Okay. Anybody can read the newspaper. Yes, again. I couldn't do anything to help you. Very good. Mm -hmm. Each of each of us are very smart. Okay. Each of us, como each is singular, ocupa our or ocupa is. Each of our us uh, is. Mm -hmm. Cada uno de nosotros es. Yes. Yes. Okay. Each of us is. Is very smart. Correct. Very good. They are correct. Who else has them ready, please? Let me hear them. Volunteers. Okay, Dana, please. <clears throat> okay. I don't feel comfortable here. Can we go to another place? Very good. Uh -huh. Does anyone know the answer? That's very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't like anything from the menu and I am very hungry. <laughs> okay. And each shirt costs $10. Perfect, Diana, you, you used them correctly. Good sentences, thank you. Let's see who has the sentences completed already. Let me hear them, please. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Manuel, let me hear you, please. Okay. Can anyone visit the supermarket? Mm -hmm. uh, I asked to my father, what to buy with five dollars and he has he answers me anything all right each of the students has excellent qualification very good you use them correctly <laughs> nice job Manuel. let's see do we have someone else that has the sentences ready wants to read their examples do we have more volunteers let me hear it please silvia um Another day, I will go to San Miguel. Okay. Yeah. Um, can anyone help me with the homework? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Please to clean each dish. Mm -hmm. And do you need anything of the market? Very good. <laughs> Silvia, you use them correctly. Thank you. Good sentences. Juan de Dios, please. Okay. Uh, one person was buying candies and another was buying groceries. Mm -hmm. Could anyone help me with this job? All right. Anything has taken dinner during the class. <laughs> okay. And do you have one for each? Each was given the opinion about the subject very good thank you <laughs> all right guys let's check the other ones we have the next ones we have either enough everybody or everyone and everything so i'm gonna need four volunteers to read please remember you read the pronoun you read the meaning and you read the example okay so we need four people wendy help me with um Either, please. Uh, Jorge, help me with enough, please. I need two more volunteers. 
I need two more people to read. Juan de Dios, help me with everybody or everyone, please. And the last one, everything. I need one more volunteer to read it. Diana, please. Okay, the, uh, Wendy. Either one or the other of two people or things. Do you want tea or coffee? I don't mean. Either I don't mind. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't mind. Either is good for me. Okay. Enough. As much or as many as needed. Enough mm -hmm. is enough. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Juan de Dios. All right. Um, everybody, everyone, all people. Can we start the meaning because everybody has arrived? All right, very good one. All Thank right. You. And everything, everything, Diana, please. Everything, all things. They have no house or possessions. They lost everything in their way. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, either it means one or the other of two people or two things. Okay. Uno o lo otro. Either, cualquiera. O uno o el otro. Cualquiera de los dos, right? Either. Do you want tea or coffee? I don't mind. Either is good for me. ¿Qué café o té? No me interesa. Cualquiera de los dos está bien por mí. Okay. Either puede ser cualquiera de dos. Okay. O uno de, de los dos, right? And then we have enough. Enough meaning suficiente. Okay. Tanto o tantos como sea necesario. Enough is enough. Okay. And then we have everybody. Esto, enough. Um, se puede usar tanto en, en countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Okay. Pueden decir, por ejemplo, I have enough money. Money is non-countable, right? I have enough money, non-countable. O puedo decir, I have enough friends. Friends is countable. Okay, así que suficiente, la palabra enough, la pueden usar intercalada, ya sea en countables or non-countables. Suficiente puede ser para los dos. Everybody or everyone quiere decir todos. Okay, podemos empezar la meeting porque ya todos llegaron. Okay, and then we have everything. Igual a este, pero no para, este es para cosas. Todas las cosas, okay. Ellos perdieron todas sus cosas en el terremoto. They lost everything in the earthquake. Okay? So you're going to prepare four sentences. Okay? You're going to prepare one for either, one for enough, one for everyone or everybody, and one for everything. And I'm going to give you four minutes. Okay? Remember, one sentence for each of these. So total four. Buenas noches. Buenas noches,
Sigue todavía la fiesta, entonces. Sigue la fiesta todavía. Ay, ya te voy a All right, time is up. If you have your sentences, let me hear them, please. Otherwise, we can wait until you're ready. <laughs> if you have your sentences completed, let me know. Ana Raquel, please. Either is bad for your health. Okay, either the key. Either, either, either option. Ah, either option. Ok. Por lo general, cuando usamos either, ya se han mencionado las dos opciones antes. Mm -hmm. All right. Ok. Uh, I had enough. <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. And everything that I have is yours. All right. And everyone or everybody? Did you create one with everyone or everybody, Anna? <laughs> no. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no worries. You did like three out of four, so we're good. Uh, Juan de Dios, do you have your sentences ready? I see you have your hand up. Or you just forgot your hand. <laughs> Tatiana Michelle, please. Uh, teacher, I have one for enough. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, I don't have enough time for the lunch. For lunch. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I like everything in that restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I slept less than the last week. Oh, you did this one. Pero está bien. Lo usó correctamente, Tiana. Thank you. Um, Manuel, please. Manuel, you're in mute. Sorry, teacher. Uh, what prefer to go to the school? By bus or by taxi? Either. Okay. All right. The worker had enough time to finish the report. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to invite everybody to the meeting. Uh, when I visit my favorite restaurant, I order everything of the menu. <laughs> Very good, man. You used them correctly. Thank you. Okay, let's hear Diana, please. Um, I can decide which dress to buy. I don't like either. Oh, I don't know if that's correct. Mm. Yeah, the thing is that that one. Either es para cualquiera de dos. Que cuando usted dice cualquiera de dos, realmente está hablando en positivo. ¿verdad? Puede ser esto, puede ser el otro. Pero en ese caso, usted está hablando en negativo. Usted no está diciendo cualquiera. Usted está diciendo ninguno, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, usted dice neither. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ninguno. Uh -huh. Neither. I don't like neither. Uh -huh. O oh, si quiere hacer la versión larga, I don't like neither of the dresses. Right? No me gusta ninguno de esos o ninguno de los vestidos. 
So either es cualquiera de, de dos o más, neither es ninguno. Okay? Okay. That would be like the negative version. Okay. okay. Next. I don't want to hear you anymore. It is enough for me. All right. um, everybody came to the party yesterday. It was a success. Uh, I want to buy everything for, from the tree shop. And <laughs> I am on a diet. I'm going to eat less. <laughs> Very good. You also did one with less, Diana. <laughs> Thank you. That was used correctly. Great sentences. All right. So right now we're going to go into the groups. And you're going to create a conversation and you're going to discuss ways in which social media marketing helps businesses. Ahí está en el chat. Este va a ser el tema que van a incorporar en la conversación que van a crear ahorita. Ways in which social media marketing helps businesses connect to their audiences, audiences and grow sales. You decide if you want to make a conversation or if you want to make a con an presentation, like an exposition. You decide. The only requirement, as usual, you know, every participant from the group has to say something, right? It's not valid to only use one person to say everything that you discuss. No. Every person in the group will have to participate, okay? So we're going to recreate the rooms. Just give me one moment. And the rooms are open right now, so you can enter. You will have 10 minutes to, this, to create that, top, that conversation or presentation for that topic. You can enter the rooms. Pueden entrar a las salas. Silvia, Nelson is waiting for you in the room. Do you hear me, Silvia? Nelson is waiting for you. Hello, guys. Maybe we need teacher. us to the teacher. <laughs> uh, teacher, I, I, I am confused uh -huh. uh, about the activity. I listen about the create a conversation with the last topic, uh -huh. with everyone, with everything. Oh, you can incorporate it if you want. In you it's actually possible, but the topic of the conversation is lo que les puse en el chat. Ways, uh, ways in which, which social media helps to grow business and sales. I was reading on that, but almost se va la energía. no escuché. Electricity is failing. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, you can you decide if you want to create a presentation to speak about the topic y cada uno presenta un pedacito o si quieren hacer una conversación abordando el tema, right? It's up to you. Ways guys. in which social media marketing helps businesses connect to their audience and grow sales. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay.
Okay, now that everyone's back, let me just check. Did you finish the task or do you need a few more minutes? More time. Perfect. We need more time. We need more time. Okay. The rooms are open. Ya están abiertas las salas. Pueden reingresar. Silvia, ¿en qué sala está? Teacher, no pude. No pude regresar. Please. Um, ahorita lo me voy a mandar. Ahorita. Gracias. Todavía no lo acepte. Para mí ya le voy a decir cuándo. Bueno. Ahora, Manuel. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Norma pudo regresar a la sala.
Okay, now that everyone is back, we're going to start. We're going to begin with room number one. We have Ana Raquel, Juan de Dios, and Tatiana Michel. Please. Okay, Juan de Dios, show the presentation, please. Sorry, I was in mute. Um, we share my screen. Let me know if you. Yes, yes. See. Thanks, Juan Diris. Uh, uh, we we show you uh, seven ways in which social media marketing have businesses. Um, first, uh, use paid ads to attract more eyes, followed by, uh, example, HelloFresh and ClassPass. Uh, two, uh, work with social media influencers because it's the, uh, it's, it's the most popular right now. Mm -hmm. And the third, uh, turn your customers into brand ambassadors. Ambassadors. Uh -uh, ambassadors. Tensions, ambassadors, mm -hmm. because uh, work with uh, people, famous people uh, with a uh, uh, good reputation uh, is uh, uh, more effective uh, to attract the persons. All right. Uh, Tatiana uh, will tell you the the others ways. Uh, yes, another another way to increase uh, the sales is in code Encourage. encourage and feature user generated content. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, use interactive posts to educate and entice your customers. Allow people to buy things straight from posts and now your target market and which platform they use. And this is going to uh, give you uh, more sales and increase uh, your earns, your profit. All right. Uh, Juan de Dios, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, to, to, to have more profit in social media uh, platform, uh, we need to to uh, take uh, in this take some uh, topics or or themes that you need to 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 study and take take in count. For example, uh, people you need to 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 know how kind of people you are going to be, is going to be the target, mm -hmm. el, the content. Uh, you need to make an strategies, some strategies and cons. Uh, for example, in this chart or summary, uh, we can see how to, how to, how to, I lost the idea. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> uh, these are some examples. If you want to, if you want to increase your sales, you can use Facebook, Facebook, for example. Uh, I don't know, uh, Juan de Dios, if you want to continue. Yes, uh, here uh, you, you, can uh, found uh, how to to need how, how to uh, uh, choose the people uh, okay. the content and what is the is the people is uh, interested for that content content or strategies and cons. All right. For example, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. 
They all mm -hmm. show different. They all show different targets, right? Yes. yes. You can find the the edge to the people mm -hmm. you can reach if you want to. Uh, if you want to just take a, a a one part of the of the people, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good job, room number one. That was an excellent presentation. Not good, it was excellent. <laughs> you guys Thank spoke, you were fluent. Um, Juan and Tatiana and Ana, something very important that you did. Um, cuando Juan dijo, por ejemplo, I lost the idea, Tatiana jumped in and helped, right? And Ana delivered her part of the information. That's that's a team, right? De eso se trata, trabajo en equipo. Si él se queda, pues yo lo ayudo y seguimos, right? That's the whole point, yes. no detenernos. Y Take eso it. que estaba haciendo Juan también es bastante bueno. Si sí pierde la idea, pero continúo con otra. Continúo con otra y desarrollo lo que estoy viendo en pantalla. En las entrevistas de trabajo en inglés, por lo general, hay escenarios como este, que quizás se nos olvida una palabra, como se dice, pero como estamos preparados para improvisar, lo cubrimos con otra cosa. Decimos otra cosa relacionada siempre, right? Tampoco nos vamos a ir por la tangente. So very good job. Um, Thank you. Um, teníamos, tenemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro grupos más pendientes. Um, acá me queda ya quiénes son los, por cada grupo, así que mañana en la clase, um, cuando ya estamos todos conectados, vamos a seguir con esta presentación. Ok, so ahorita nos quedamos solo con la del room number one. Vamos a pasar a attendance. Ana Raquel Villalta. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you, Claudia Maria. Tiana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Jorge Humberto. Present. Thank you, Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos Vivas. Juan de Dios. Present, teacher. Thank you, Linda Iber. Manuel Antonio. Present. Thank you, Maria Concepcion. Present. Thank you, Maria Elena. Present. Thank you, Mario Ernesto. Nelson Gavarrete. Thank you, Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Olga Marleni. Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia Suleima. Present. Tatiana Michel. Thank you, Silvia. Tatiana Michel. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Natalie. Present miss. Thank you. All right. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. Get some sleep. Recharge batteries. Los que les sea posible, por favor, a las ocho en punto en la clase. <laughs> Los que no, siempre avisen. No se preocupen. Se pueden incorporar después, right? Have a good night, everyone. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Thank you. I will be try tomorrow again. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, Maria.